Denver Zine Fest. Got it up right here. Okay, got it in the window. Right there's where I want it. Excellent. Okay, so I want to do something um, before we get started. I wanted to, where was I, Shelby? Let me see. Oh, I, I got my example up, but I, I just want to talk about this. One. Okay, so you've got this Denver Zine Fest, and you have this 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 poster for this Zine Fest. Okay, the main thing I'm seeing, the first most obvious thing I'm seeing is, is, is you're not quite adhering to the project specifications because you've got this um, the serif typeface here, and then you have serif here, and then you have serif here. So you're not introducing a sans serif. Remember from back in week one, where is it? Uh, project, that's not it. This is it right here. Okay, so remember expectations, thoughts on sketch development and the type section from week one. Um, choose no more than, than two families, but you have to use two families, one serif and one sans serif with varying weights. So you, you have to... Did you just see my dog walk by in the background? That was pretty funny. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I just noticed that. Anyway, so 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 you have to use a serif and a sans serif. Okay, and then you can add a third for your headline, but and, and that can be an illustrative or a hand render or whatever kind of type you want to use there. But you have to use a serif and a sans serif. Okay, and then of course we I talked about that in the, in the announcement. Remember, this was the um, sketch of this of the serif, and then we had the sketch of the sans serif over there and then over there. Okay, so. In that example, we have the examples of the serif and the sans serif, and then, of course, with the hand render type and then the hand drawing type there. Okay, so um, that's the one thing that you, you'll have to, to address here. Now, as far as execution goes, listen, I'm going to go ahead and say this, okay? Now, don't take this the wrong way, because if there's anything I am, it's going to be honest, and you'll know. This isn't working. Let me tell you why it's not working. Zines are typically have a really super edgy... They're super edgy. They got, like, this hard edge to them, always, I think. This is so pristine, and it almost looks like this is like a poster for a good housekeeping show. Illustration-wise, you're good. You're good. You're doing some really good things here. Um, I mean, illustratively, I think they're they're gorgeous. It's just conceptually, it just it's not working for me. I, I even did this. I went over here and I went, I went like this. I went, let me go and do an image search, and I'm just gonna look at zine covers. And look at how edgy they are. All of them. Look at these. These ones, they're all like, just got these super really hard edge. This, this contemporary, young, fresh, kind of, kind of graffiti-esque pop culture edge to them. Uh, um, but and then we have, okay, so, so look at these with me, would you? Take a look at some of these zine covers. Look at this Salvaz zine cover and that one. And then and then I, I really like this Oz color. I love that cover. Love this one too. How to how to wow a woman with her oh, just love these really super edgy stuff, right? This is great. Look at that one. Good stuff. Take a look at one or two more with me, would you? Uh, look at that one. Cool. Just really super edgy stuff, right? So we're seeing that, but then we go over here, and that's all okay. Following me, get the picture, right? Look at that one. Very, very cool. Look at that one. Awesome. Foul mouth illustrators. Very cool. Okay, then come over here and look how tame and pristine and almost like home and garden this is. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it looks like, more like a poster for a home and garden show than it would for a, a zine fest. You see what I'm saying? So conceptually, it boggles me that this is being used to represent the, the so, so I'm wondering if you can't add some kind of hard edge to this. Okay, um, that would be my recommendation. I think your colors are also almost pastel, not like this kind of really super edgy kind of uh, high contrast um, color palettes that you find here. And this is just a super pastel-y, like really super tame stuff. Okay, typographically, I this looks like it's just kind of floating here. These three words, you have Denver here, you have Zine that's kind of off to the left, and you have Fest and stuff. So it kind of looks like a variation of some sort of center alignment, but I would just go ahead and left align that. Left align that instead of center aligning that. Left align that. Left align is always more interesting than center aligned, by the way, uh, than center, center aligned. And the reason being is because center alignment creates symmetrical negative space, and that's kind of boring in terms of design. Find much more interesting engaging negative space with with a, a left aligned rag right 
type scheme. Okay. All right. Good job. Any questions at all, please let me know and I will see if I can clarify. All right. Good job. Thank you.